Like, the problem no, lies. Because he'll let anybody slide on him like that. If we live next door to you, would you call the cops or would you come try to make a noise complaint yourself? I would call the cops and act like I didn't call the cops. Right. <laughs> didn't receive any money for her viral blue uh, face bruh, this bruh, song. Bruh, I'm sick of this bitch, man. Lil Mabu. I'm here to check in on you, your mental health. And I'm Mabu support system. I'm going to the dentist today. Let me make oh, sure I, I brush good, my yeah. teeth. <laughs> this isn't surprising, right? Everybody um, extorts um, Krishan. Um, Everybody extorts. Yeah. In the latest chapter of the ongoing feud that set the internet ablaze, Blueface issues a final warning to Lil Mabu following the release of his diss track. Tempers are flaring, social media is buzzing, and it seems like the drama between these two artists is far from over. Let's dive into the latest jaw-dropping developments in this fiery rivalry. In a recent twist of events, tensions between Blueface and Lil Mabu have escalated dramatically. It all began when Lil Mabu and Cran dropped a joint diss track targeting Blueface. The internet went into a frenzy, with the diss track quickly gathering 7 million views within a week. Interestingly, Lil Mabu had reached out to Blueface back in September, hinting at what he was planning. However, Blueface later blocked him on Instagram in response to the diss track. Blueface didn't hold back, using social media to flaunt his own achievements. He posted a picture emphasizing his platinum records, a clear jab at Lil Mabu's lack of such accolades. This move was not just a casual post. It was a clear and deliberate attempt to draw attention to his considerable achievements in the music industry. In doing so, Blueface was indirectly swiping at Lil Mabu, whose track record didn't boast the same platinum certified success. Essentially, Blueface was using his platinum records as a way of asserting his dominance and success in the music world, while subtly pointing out Lil Mabu's comparative lack of such prestigious accolades. It was a strategic move in their ongoing feud, designed to underline his own accomplishments and potentially rile up Lil Mabu even further. This move didn't sit well with Lil Mabu, who fired back, highlighting his independence and criticizing Blueface's 360 label deal. In response to Blueface's post, flaunting his platinum records, Lil Mabu expressed his displeasure and fired back with the following statement. Because I didn't sign a 360 label deal like you did, we're independent. Watch this space. This response underscored Lil Mabu's independent status in the music industry, asserting that he wasn't tied to a 360 label deal like Blueface. He used emojis to express his sentiments, including a middle finger and a brain emoji, to suggest that he had a strategic plan in motion and was confident in his ability to succeed independently. Lil Mabu essentially wanted to make it clear that he didn't need a label deal to achieve success in the music industry. The feud has not only gripped social media, but also exposed the behind the scenes interactions between these artists. Lil Mabu made it clear a few months ago that he was pursuing a college education and a music career. Remarkably, this approach seems to be paying off as Lil Mabu has become more prominent in the music scene. One of his key points of pride is his independence, and he's on a mission to show fellow artists that it's possible to excel in music without the constraints of a record label. Chan Rock, not one to remain silent during the Lil Mabu and Blueface drama, chimed in. She pointed out the irony of Blueface's earlier interactions with Lil Mao, suggesting that Blueface was originally the one who reached out to Lil Mao, and now he's acting as though he does not know of him. This underscores Lil Mabu's strategic moves in navigating the industry, implying that his name is gaining recognition among other artists. In recent developments, Lil Mabu's consistent engagement with Blueface on social media has left some fans puzzled. However, it's important to remember that all this back and forth is a well thought out marketing strategy for his upcoming album, Young Genius Academy. Through these interactions with Blueface and Chan Rock, who have substantial followings, Lil Mabu is growing his Twitter presence and making sure his name is known to a broader audience. It's all part of the plan to boost his profile in the lead up to his album release. Out of the blue, Blueface retaliated indirectly by posing a weird question to his fans. Have you ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted? It left many scratching their heads as to what he was getting at. 
In response, Lil Mabu fired back with a witty remark, asking, Have you ever seen Family Guy where Stewie has a Brazilian butt lift, BBL? This playful exchange took a jab at Blueface's girlfriend, Jaden Alexis. Around the same time, Jaden Alexis posted a tweet expressing her love for money, complete with a money bag emoji. Lil Mao saw this as an opportunity to humorously chime in, saying, Me too. I like Blueface's dollar bill emoji, so I took his baby dollar eyes emoji. These light-hearted interactions added a touch of humor to the ongoing feud. Amidst all this, there's a lingering suspicion that Blueface might be deliberately growing the feud to keep the drama alive as it continues to draw in millions of viewers and is monetized. The fact that Blueface has a reality TV show with Chan Rock suggests a strong focus on financial gains. Amid this, Blueface posted a message suggesting that he can spot a fan when he sees one, using a yawning emoji. Lil Mabu sees this as an opportunity to promote his diss track, which remarkably reached the number one trending spot worldwide, a surprising turn of events in this drama. One of the most shocking developments in this saga involved a post that allegedly showed Ganrock with a tattoo supporting Lil Mabu on her lower stomach. This raised mixed reactions among fans, with some speculating about the authenticity of the tattoo. Some suggested it might be a Photoshop job aimed at grabbing attention on the internet. As the drama unfolds, the big question on everyone's minds is what lies ahead? Will Blueface escalate things and confront Lil Mao, or will he let it slide and continue with his life? In a trolling response to the alleged tattoo on Gone, Blueface requested, please respect our privacy, accompanied by a face palm emoji. This humorous reaction highlighted Blueface's playful and somewhat trolling nature in this ongoing feud. The internet is captivated by this ongoing drama, with most people catching up in the twists and turns. There also seem to be some screenshots provided by WAC100 that were revealed recently. These screenshots apparently showed Chan Rock planning a robbery or attack on Blueface at his home, even sharing what appeared to be an address. Predictably, Blueface wasn't pleased with this revelation, and he responded by insisting that the screenshots were fake. He warned against spreading falsehoods and threatened to take legal action, claiming to have connections with someone well-versed in such matters. Lil Mabu didn't hesitate to support Chan Rock, declaring, my father is a lawyer, let's not play that game, with a handshake emoji. The idea of a court case involving Blueface, Chan Rock, and Lil Mao seems rather surreal and unexpected, but it certainly adds a new layer to this ongoing saga. In a separate development, Blueface recently appeared on the No Jumper podcast alongside his girlfriend, Jaden Alexis. During the podcast, the topic of Lil Mao and Chan Rock's diss track came up. Jaden expressed her disapproval in the track, citing lyrics where she proclaims her dislike for her ex, referring to him as her baby daddy. She also mentioned Lil Mao as if he were her new love interest, suggesting it might be a clout-chasing move. Blueface chimed in, expressing his lack of concern and suggesting that he found the track subpar. Both he and Jaden seemed unimpressed, raising doubts about the quality of the diss track. The reason why Lil Mao and Chan Rock's diss track has gained so much attention is evident. It's undeniably striking a chord with the audience and is arguably better than anything that Blueface or Jaden has released recently. Not long ago, both Chan and Lil Mao held a live stream together, during which an interesting question arose. Lil Mao playfully inquired whether he had a crush on Chan. However, their exchange revealed that it wasn't exactly a romantic crush, but rather a close, friendly connection that they shared. This dynamic between them caught the interest of their followers, as it was unexpectedly intimate for an ongoing feud. In a surprising twist, Blueface proposed to Jaden Alexis at an NFL game recently. This development adds yet another layer to the ongoing rivalry between Blueface and Chan Rock. Furthermore, Blueface and Jaden are now business partners, co-founding a record company called Mill Music. Notably, this record label boasts an exclusive roster of female artists with children. It's becoming interesting to see what unfolds in the weeks ahead, including whether Blueface will respond to the ongoing feud with a track of his own. Who do you believe wins the battle of wits in this fiery feud? Blueface, Lil Mabu, or Chan Rock? Let us know in the comments.